Hi there. QS273 uh, motor upgrade here. Um, the, uh, the rim that comes with this motor was very cheap. I hit a rock and totally dented the rim and it took out half of my spokes. Um, so I decided to see if I could figure out how to upgrade the rim. So I got a Tusk rim off of eBay for about a hundred bucks. And it's a 36 hole for the QS273. Keep in mind of that number, uh, cause I didn't check the spokes and I could have, I think I, I could have swore I saw 32, um, uh, but miscounted for some reason and got a 32 hole rim. Um, but, uh, so that one didn't work out. So 36 hole rim, uh, this is a 19 inch rim. Um, I had to get custom spokes in order to fit it this way. Um, when you get this motor with the heel assembly from China, it comes with eight or 10 gauge spokes and they're cross threaded on that rim. This one has a div different eyelets and different, uh, drilled angles for the spokes. Uh, so after measuring the spokes and deciding, um, that, uh, um, crisscrossing wouldn't work, um, for this type of rim, uh, how it's drilled, I decided to do this, uh, straight pattern on some of the QS273s. When you look up that motor off of Google, it will have, uh, several different types of, um, ones that are straight or ones that are uh, crisscross uh, on the images. So I tried this uh, because uh, crossing them with these thicker spokes, these are 10, uh, eight gauge spokes. Um, so they're a little thicker um, and uh, they're, they're a little bit better. Um, so I uh, measured it and I came up with 70 millimeter spokes for a 19 inch rim for QS273. As you can see, there's little rust spots here. Well, this is the older version that didn't, doesn't have the reliefs. So when you're putting in spokes, they run into the inside of the QS273 motor. So I had to cut reliefs for every single one of these, um, 18 on this side, 18 on that side, in order this for this to fit. Um, also, another thing with the spokes is that usually you do an in, out, in on the spokes but uh because they are thicker and they're smaller they have less bend um so it actually made me do all inside of the spokes so i'm going to see how this works um but uh yeah so i mean it feels really sturdy feels pretty good it's straight as a button um but now i have to just um tighten up the spokes so that uh, uh, it uh, it's in round the best it can and to make sure that the spokes are not loose. Um, but uh, I think it will work because it feels really sturdy. It's better metal. It's uh, thicker gauge spokes. By the way, I had to open up the, um, the eyelet uh, for each spoke just a little bit. Uh, I forgot what drill I used, but I just... Um, measured the spoke and then found a specific drill bit to make it work but so a little bit of drilling and stuff um that i had to do in order for this to work we'll see how it works i'll have a follow-up video to show you how it works but i've already done a lot of work to this motor i actually wanted a 5t um a motor for the uh enduro riding that i do uh but they gave me a 3.5t so i've been trying to make it work uh, might just uh, pull out the, the wallet and go with the 5T eventually. Um, but anyways, so this is kind of an upgrade too. I don't know if this might look funky to you. I have a problem with, uh, or QS273 motors has, has a problem with uh, spacing. You have to find the right caliper that will fit um, the, the brake. Uh, uh, just the standard mountain bike 203 millimeter brake. I wasn't able to find the best one. Um, so I said, you know what? I actually had a disc from a motorcycle um, that I uh, welded onto the uh, disc of the mountain. Uh, so I could use a mountain disc pattern with the thicker um, disc brake of the, uh, of the motorcycle. 
uh, the you know dirt bike that I got this from. So I just made sure it was round, and then I just welded all the inside there. I use um, a hydraulic uh, motocross um, or uh, hydraulic RM250 um, rear brake caliper. Or no, it wasn't an RM250. It was actually um, uh, one from China. I just kind of looked at all of them. I actually had to modify the caliper because it was hitting the uh, QS273. That's in far, or the QS273 wheel hub. That's by far the the weirdest thing I had to do because the clearance issues on these kind of don't make sense. Um, so the, the tolerances are really tight. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Um, but this is what I had to do in order to fix the rim. I didn't want to use the, the crappy 8-gauge spokes. Um or the smaller spokes, uh, because they just didn't work well at all. And, uh, the rim, I couldn't, I couldn't buy another rim because I just couldn't afford it to break again. It's just a pain in the butt when it goes. So I decided to upgrade it for something more sturdy. So, uh, this is not approved. We'll see how it goes. All right. Thanks guys.